Hey guys, Steve here from Blossom Racing. Got a couple requests for this and here we are. 28 millimeter carburetor. Uh, just gonna talk to you about taking it apart, putting it back together, and what the jets are, what they do. Um, some people out there say the best place for the 28 carb is in the trash, but whether or not, here we go. So taking a 40 or a 28 millimeter carburetor apart, First thing I do, grab a hold of the top of the carburetor, back both screws out, and then this part you're going to want to hold on to the top because it is spring-loaded and it will send it flying across the room. So take the top off, spring comes out, dump the carburetor upside down, and your slide with your needle and this little fluorescent yellow uh, plastic piece that holds your cable into your slide. All right. Uh, with the needle here, um, the needle comes out. It's got two Phillips head screws uh, right down inside. Uh, you pull those out, uh, dump it upside down, and the whole needle will come out. That way you can change the needle. Um, this is a gas needle that's in here. <clears throat> we would have to replace that with a 5L1 alcohol needle. And then you got a little C-clip on the end of the needle. And you can change the position on that. Um, it's got uh, like five different slots that you can put the clip in. We put ours on the second notch from the tip, okay? Uh, be careful with this needle. Uh, they're easy to bend, and if they bend, they do not work properly. All right, jumping back onto the carburetor. Uh, right over here on this side of the carburetor, you have this little uh, brass-colored um, screw. This is an air mixture screw. So in this carburetor, screwing this out is going to let more air in, less fuel, and it is going to lean the carburetor out. Um, and make your motor warmer, uh, warm up quicker, and uh, it'll raise your, your idle. Um, this, uh, we usually have this set about a turn and a, and a half out. Um, we'll screw it all the way in, turn it, up, turn it out, one and, one and a half turns. You have an uh, air, air jet right in here. Um, we usually run a .8 air jet in here. Um, this is basically for your low end idle circuit, uh, as well as, um, your air mixture screw on the outside. Uh, it will affect your top end, but it mainly is for your idle circuit. It won't affect your top end hardly at all. So you don't even notice it. So, so this is basically for your idle circuit. And your air mixer screw is also for your idle circuit. All right, so let's get into how this works. Let's pop that bowl off. All right, there's your bowl. <clears throat> if you notice on your bowl, you got this long uh, black hose, and this is just basically hooked to the float bowl right here. Um, goes in and it um, connects to this uh, overflow tube right here. Um, so a lot of times you'll see people with it hanging down here and fuel's dripping out. So there's a couple ways to fix this so that it doesn't leak. You can take your hose and just zip tie it to the side of your carburetor and get the end of the hose up higher than the float bowl. Uh, the other thing is, is you jump on your bench vise <coughs> and clamp the very tip of this um, fill tube right here, this overflow tube. And I'm going to walk down to the other side of the bench and I'm going to close it real quick just to show you what what I was talking about. I just put it right in the very tip of the vise. And just 
clamp it right down. Bring it back to you. And if you look at the very tip of it, you can see I now have it crushed. Okay. <clears throat> and then into the uh, internals of the carburetor, you have your main jet. which uh, comes in and out with a quarter inch socket. Um, we typically run about a 450 main in, in our carburetors. Uh, set that aside. And then you have the emulsion tube, which runs right down the center of the carburetor. You just push it out, it falls out right there. So right there is your emulsion tube, and as you can see, it's it's all cross-drilled. All right, and then you have your pilot jet, which is right down in here. This is the hole where your pilot jet is. This is your main jet. Tip it up, pilot comes right out. Uh, pilot jets, we usually run about a number 35. <coughs> um, now on this carburetor, this is similar to the 33 as far as the uh, float pin goes. Um, so this side of the float pin, as you can see, this, this tower is a little bit uh, taller than this one. So the float pin on this side is small and it and it's like not a press fit in this side. The press fit is in this side um, right at the head of your pin. So what that means is when you want to drive this pin out of here, you'll just take um, a tool like this and you're gonna hit the pin right here and do not do it like this. If I was to take a hammer and start tapping this right now, this tower pin would break right off because it is press fit right on this side. This side's not gonna break, but this side is gonna snap right off. It's gonna snap right down here <coughs> and this whole thing is going to fall off. So how you do this, just like the 33, you're going to set this edge right here on your bench vise. So this is your bench vise. You're going to set it right there, right on your bench vise. Then you're going to come in and tap that right down and through. All right, I'm going to walk down to the other side real quick. So set it right on the edge of the uh, bench vise here. And what I'm doing is just supporting that other tower pin. And then you just start tapping on the, on the float pin. Just like that. And then the float pin comes right out. Grab a hold of that pulls right out. So as I was telling you earlier, on the pin, if you look at this pin, it is a press fit on this side where the head is, not this side. Um, to show you, you can see it slides right into there, uh, no problem. Uh, it'll slide in from this side, no problem. But when it gets closer to this head, now it's starting to get tight. Okay, and then there's your little Phillips head screw right there, along with your uh, retainer for the main jet. Just take that out, and then your main jet comes right out uh, whenever you need to replace them. Uh, putting it back in, a little bit easier. Uh, take and make sure you get your uh, needle, get that set back in there. Let 
we grab a hold of our pin, our float pin, and you're going to come in from the right side uh, or the, the tower pin that's really tall. Uh, you're just going to slide it in. It's going to slide in, and then it's going to stop right there. So <clears throat> now that it stops, I'm going to put my finger right against that tower pin, just like this. And that's just going to put a little bit of pressure on it. And I'm going to take my hammer and just tap it in. You don't have to tap it all the way in so that the head is all flush up against it. You just want to get it tapped back in there so that it, that it holds in there. Um, the float bowl has a little provision right here that the uh, pin can't come out. It'll actually hit right there, so uh, not a big deal. So you got that. Um, put the uh, needle back, or the uh, pilot jet back in. Um, just put it just snug. You don't wanna twist it too hard because it is brass. It'll peel out pretty easily. All right, turn it back over. You're gonna put your emulsion tube or your needle tube back in. Um, on one end, there's like a little key slot. Um, that end's gonna go in first. Put it in the hole, and as you slide it down, you have to take and line up that key slot with the pin that is in the carburetor. Grab my other screwdriver. So you just turn it, and when it lines up, then the emulsion tube pushes the rest of the way in. Grab your main jet, put it back in, tighten her down. Float bowl goes back on. I guess you got to put them on the right way. Put your screws in, line these up. Grab your screw gun. Tighten them back down. All right, and then how your slide is going to work <coughs> is your cable is gonna go down through this black thing, uh, this little rubber boot. Uh, it's gonna come right down through the center. It's gonna go through the center of this string, uh, a spring, not string. Uh, then it's gonna go through the fluorescent yellow plastic retainer. And how you put that retainer in is it has this little tip on it. Basically, what you do is you hold that tip and that is how you drop it into the carburetor. So it's going to be straight up and straight up. So just uh, drop it in. It'll settle down in there. Let your slide go back down in your spring and your top. Line it up and snug them down. So that's kind of a basic video of um, how the 28 millimeter uh, carburetor works, how you take it apart, um, how you put it back together. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys out and uh, look for some future videos of uh, the 42 carb is gonna be coming up. And uh, hope you guys have a great day and race hard and win some trophies. See you guys, have a good one.